Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we'll be starting a Let's Play series of Mark of the Ninja. This is the stealth action game from Clay Entertainment, and it was actually one of my favorite games of 2012. I wanted to do a Let's Play series of this title because things are pretty slow right now, and I think this will be a great game to show you guys if you haven't already gotten the chance to play it. Really, it is probably one of the best stealth games I've played in recent memory. Uh, this and Dishonored were really, really good from last year. But yeah, let's let's start things off here, guys. Let's play series of Mark of the Ninja, beginning with a nice cinematic. Our ninja friend with his ninja ways. Dispatching of foes. No, that is just gruesome. <laughs> now, it's been long enough since I played this game that I don't really remember much. Hey, So you. Don't you hear the bell? It still should be a pretty pretty fresh experience for me. I really don't remember too much to about help. the game. Rule number one, don't get me killed. Except don't die, apparently. That is a good rule. <laughs> okay. That's my ninja friend. We got the one that ran That's away, terrible. sir. They should all be killed or captured now. Excellent. Stand down and get ready to leave in 15. These jerks. Where's your sword? Killing my ninja friends. Stick to the darkness until you find one. Watch out. They're coming this way. All right, so once again, this is a stealth combat game. Stealth action. I am hiding in stealth behind a shrub. And so long as I hide here, he cannot see okay. me. Okay, keep moving. And I will keep moving. More of them. Oh. Find a place to hide. So as you can see, we can hide in these... Uh, you can hide in doorways, you can hide behind like shrubs and various objects. And as long as you don't pass through their cone of vision or don't uh, reveal yourself with noise, then they won't see you. Now, this little radio here, this is all noise. Hold up. Uh -oh. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. Yes, they will. So we're going to try to stay stealthy you here. Banners? We could totally sell them to a gallery, and the blood will make them look even more authentic. <gasps> yeah, you're cool, dude. Okay. <laughs> all right. Away. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. So obviously, as you see here, starting off with a little bit of tutorial, just going through some of the basics and picking up our grappling hook. The grappling hook allows you to lash on to grapple points using a right mouse button, such as this one and that one. Right, we've got a couple vents here. Let me check these out. Starting off with this, I run up to it, hit space, and make my way through. Grappling point, and we have ourselves a little object giving us plus 1,000 points. Trying to accumulate as high of a score as possible is definitely a thing in this game. You accumulate score by just performing well, be it kills or being stealthy. Hurry up. This place is giving me the creeps. Still feels like so these little guards are here killing our ninja friends. I don't exactly know cold. why. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Let's keep it that way. Sounds good. Ninja lady. And here is my weapon, the Sword of Tetsuji. The Hisomo save their swords until they can kill with one strike. This relic of the clan's founder has upheld this tradition for hundreds of years. Now you're ready to kill. I am. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. All right, so what's going to happen work, here? But remember, you have to be quick to catch them is we go up to enemies undetected and if you get within melee range of them undetected you can do that stealth ninja kill with your sword and then what happens is you have to slide your mouse either to the left or the right and that will determine whether or not you get a clean kill or an un unsuccessful kill so if you do it in the right direction it'll be basically a silent stealth kill if you do not then he will make noise and nearby enemies may hear him as a result that's pretty much everything I remember about this game, so <laughs> prepare to be prepare to watch me be reintroduced to everything else. Okay. And we have picked up our darts. Basic a bamboo darts, good for breaking fragile things and causing a distraction. They will not damage enemies, however. The uh -oh. ink from your tattoo has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. All right, so left control here to slow down time, and you can use this to throw multiple darts at nearby targets. Like so. Or at least 
least the doors. All that jazz. If you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one will make a loud noise. So be ready for them to react. Okay, so we can go right here. You're going to notice the noise radio. He's going to be uh, alerted to that. And he should turn around, in which case I'm going to jump behind him and go for a kill. Who's out there? There it is. And it was a stealth kill. It was a proper kill. I don't think I can hide him anywhere, so I'll just put his body right there and continue along. What are you doing? Were you uh, going to walk right up and say hi? That was the plan. Grapple into that tree and we can swing over them. I would kind of like to kill this guy, so we're going to go like this. And we're going to drop down, go for the kill, silent kill. Now I could have totally avoided him, but what is the fun in that? I prefer. Ninja assassination. <laughs> yeah, let's see, before we go down there, I want to check anything over here. Yes, an artifact. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's great. Awesome. Found an artifact. Fantastic. I am a stealth ninja of the darkness. Let's go down this way. And kill. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Terrible. Now, you're going to notice here I can make a ping noise by hitting that. I don't really want to, but I could. And that could have been used for a distraction. And right, we got a couple guys over here. Now, I could ping that. I could break the chandelier, which will drop down and, I believe, take them out. So, let's do that. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Okay, anything over here? Looks like we got something up here. Yes, yes. We snap off a branch. Ah. To make a weapon. Right. But the tree must bear the wound. Well, that is a sad story. It really is, actually. I don't... Sometimes, like, I'll be walking in the woods and, you know, on a hike and stuff. And, uh, I like picking with tree branches, but then I feel really bad about breaking it because the tree suffers the wound. That is true. That is a true statement. Wise words. We need to make him look the other way. Try that gong. Hey! I saw you. Run. Nope. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So he saw me. I believe that made me lose points, but whatever. Took him out, so. See that door? Yes. Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. I sense a bad guy. Left. And for the win. Alright. Let's take a look over here. Anything for me? Nope. Let's go back over this way. Now the great thing, uh, cool thing about this game that I do remember is that they really let you play how you want. Like all these situations where you've seen me. Like, here's a perfect example. I could just try to walk right by these people. Now my objective here is to get over here. So I need to go through that grate and then down over there towards the X. So I could just really ignore a few of these guys, but I'm not going to. Um, because <laughs> I like eliminating any threats. What was that? You don't know, do you? And you will never know, because you have been eliminated. Hide him. You get extra points for hiding the bodies, so I'll do that. Even though it's kind of weird because at this situation, like, no one's going to come through here again. So I don't understand kind of what the point of hiding that was. You know what I mean? Alright, anyway, so let me drop back down. Go through here. And ninja it up. Uh -huh. I scouted up ahead. They're taking ninja as hostages. And Master Azai is in what? trouble. What? We have to hurry. Okay, so now it's telling me about the map, which I've uh, already used. But yeah, you hit tab to bring up the map. It's going to show you uh, various areas. 
I can see there's some stuff up there. I guess there was some stuff up there that I could potentially discover. That's my current position. And then X marks the spot. I think I heard something. Nope. You didn't hear a thing. And like, watch this. I'm going to throw his body over the cliff. I don't know why I felt like showing that to you, but I did. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got a few ways we uh, can go. Some guys. Okay, so there's a ninja that needs rescuing. Now, was there another... Um, yeah, there's a grate down over there, so I could... Hmm. Let me think about this one here. I guess I could just get him from the front door, yeah? So why don't we do that? Probably the easiest way. So we're just going to go like this, and that was nice and easy. And we'll rescue our friend here. You caught us by surprise. Don't worry about it. You're rescued. Fret not. Okay, so we got a guy right over here. Probably just going to wait for him to come back. Now, you'll see here while I'm peeking, he still can't see me, but this is still considered like an in-stealth mechanic, so... Take him down like that. Great. And then rescue our this friend here. Is the end. You're so melodramatic, ninja buddy. I got you. Oh jeez, you serious? Gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'll wait. Watch this, ready? Wait till he's underneath and drop it like it's hot. There you go. Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. All right, so save my ninjas. What? This is that's horrendous. Hmm. Try going through this way. <clears throat> okay, so actually, you know what? I could go. Oop. Better get maintenance to check out that rattle. That I made some noise. That's fine. Whatever. So we're gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go from up high to get him. Must be imagining things. Okay, ready? That a nice silent kill. And <laughs> uh, it's really funny. We killed as many as we could, but they overwhelmed us. Poor guy. <laughs> All right, let's go back up here. There was someone up this way that we can save. A couple guys uh, that we can save. What am I talking about? That we can take out guys here. These aren't falling ones right now. Okay, so we're just gonna chill here. These guys are gonna turn around and then we can uh, jump to the next one. We'll be all set. Well, check our map here. Can save his eye. Oh, and since I have played it before, just so you guys know, there are objectives that are like already complete, which is sort of silly, but I couldn't find a way to clear those. So, so we are where we are here. Out of the range of this noise. There it is. What? Man down. Guard down. A 
approaching. Hey, there he is. Nope. You leave me alone. Can I find him? I was detected. He's just here. Where is he? So we'll be okay. Huh? This is getting weird. Oh, is there a uh, thing over here I can get? Is that a little statue thing? Yeah, it is. Artifact discovered. Huzzah. Guess this is easy enough. Man down. Where's my friend? He's right over this way. Hmm. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. Oh. It's time for the old man to retire, boys. No, you didn't. That was uh, far from ideal. It's clear. But anyways, I'll take him on nonetheless. No, oh, come on. When he's down, is when we can go for the kill. There we go. That was not a stealth kill. That was a peasant's death. <laughs> However, the master was rescued, and that is all that matters. For centuries we have stayed hidden. No more. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, yes. our enemies have found us. <gasps> we must strike back. Back. We shall. We will fight for our survival. Indeed. And our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. Wow. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. That's me. The ninja. The mark of the ninja. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our first episode here of our Mark of the Ninja playthrough series. I'm going to play through the entire game. I might just segment this per level, just do like an episode, a level, something like that. Try to keep these around 20 or 30 minutes long. Next level coming up in the next video. Stay tuned. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.